I'm originally from Aiken, South Carolina, but I am now a general surgeon in Anniston, Alabama, halfway between Atlanta and Birmingham. So with, without the animation, a typical gallbladder visit may take 20 minutes. Um, in that 20 minutes, five minutes at the end is spent prompting the patient to answer questions as well as to ask questions. So a lot of times they'll come in and they're not familiar enough with the gallbladder so they don't even know what questions to ask. Versus when we use the animation, because we're utilizing that time that I'm not in the room, we take five minutes out of that initial visit, but the patient still gets all of their questions answered. So what happens is, in turn, I get about five minutes per patient, per video, every day. So if I have two or three gallbladders, if I have a colon operation, if I have an inguinal hernia operation, that saves me about 20, 25 minutes, which from a productivity standpoint is an extra patient visit. Or I can spend that time with other patients that have more difficult problems that need more time. When I forget to put the videos on, they remind me to put the videos on. Because what happens is they now get to walk in, ask the patient, hey, did you see the video? Do you have any questions about the video? They're used to patients saying, no, I saw the video. I'm good. What's the next step? Versus when the videos are off, the nurses do spend a lot more time in there answering questions after I leave. So they love the videos probably as much, if not more, than I do. You know, if, if you add, from a surgical standpoint, if you add the amount of money that the video costs per year versus the amount of patients that you see because you've become more effective and more efficient, I would say the videos probably pay for themselves after about two or three patient visits.